Okay, the word orthogonal in math means perpendicular. Okay, so orthogonal trajectories. So let's say I have a curve, a function that looks like this, okay? So orthogonal trajectory is referring to all functions which is, right, perpendicular to this along the curve. So some type of function will pass through like this, like this, right? These are all orthogonal trajectories. And this is a little bit hard to imagine what this will be in terms of an equation. Okay, a simple um, example will be, what is the orthogonal trajectory of this equation? Y is equal to kx. Okay, y is equal to kx. It's just a line that passed through the origin, right? But it's referring to any line that can pass through the origin. So it can be that one. Oops. It can be this one. It can be this one. It can be this one. So what kind of graph will always be intersecting with these lines at 90 degrees? Okay. And it's this. A circle is intersecting any one of, with any one of these lines at exactly 90, okay? But it doesn't have to be that circle, right? It can be a smaller circle. As long as it's center about the, or, the origin, it's good, right? It can be out here. Right. Any circle, meaning the answer just visually, the answer is this. That's an orthogonal trajectory of this function. Okay, they're orthogonal trajectories of each other. So let's do an example. Find the orthogonal trajectory of the family of curves x is equal to k times y squared, where k is an arbitrary constant. Okay, so let's find dy, the expression for dy over dx. Okay, dy over dx. So let's implicitly differentiate that, and you get 1 is equal to k times by 2y dy over dx. Okay. Isolate dy over dx, you get dy over dx is equal to 1 over 2ky, right? Okay, so we want our function, the derivative function of dy over dx to be in terms of all x and y, not in terms of k here, okay? Because k is arbitrary, right? We can pick k to be anything. However, look, k is actually dependent on x and y. k is actually x over y squared. So we can replace that k with x over y squared times by y. Okay, so let's simplify that. 1 over 2xy, which is uh, y over 2x. That's dy over dx. Now, I want an equation, right? I want a, an expression, a graph, where all the slopes of that graph, when it intersects with this one, is 90 degrees. So I found the expression for slope for the given curve, right? x equals ky squared. I want my orthogonal trajectory. I know that my orthogonal trajectory right, will have a slope of not this, but negative reciprocal of that. Right? For ortho trajectory. Right? I know that my function, right? My graph has to, when I differentiate it, whatever that may be, it has to have this as a result when you differentiate it. Right? Then it guarantees that for every x, y, every point, every point they, they intersect, they will have product, the slope, to be exactly 90 degrees. Okay, now let's find what this equation is, and that means doing differential equation. This is a first order differential uh, equation, so you get y dy. And minus 2x dx. So you get half y squared uh, minus x squared plus some constant. So 
let me bring the x square to the left side we get x square plus half of y square is equal to some constant okay so if you've done conic section you should know what that is so hopefully you can re recall that this is an equation of ellipse ellipse looks like this oh yeah right with the major axis being a minus a b minus b and the ellipse goes through like this now what kind of curve is this one this is it's a parabola but instead of y being isolated it's x that's isolated right that means it's a parabola that's going left and right like this like this or like this look on an ellipse if you go like this or like this yeah. right do you see that it could be maybe for on this ugly ellipse here maybe you have to make it like this do you see how we could generate depending on the how the curvature is of the ellipse right it'll intersect with the parabola 90 degrees so that's the orthogonal trajectory of the parab parabola that's going left to right the value of the c here is arbitrary and the c what is what is c control so actually do you see how this number is bigger here so i should have drawn the ellipse this way which makes more sense like more fatter this way do you see how it looks more actually 90 degree now right and it's always um root two times longer on this uh, in this direction okay look at two c instead of c right 